What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today, you might not recognize this car. This is my boy Ryan's car. This is his 2002 IS300. And today we're finally gonna make it lower. We got the teen coilovers right here. This is the, the rear. I'll be at the front over there. <laughs> it's still early for me. I'm on like three hours of sleep right now, so I'll wake up sometime throughout the video. From what I've seen, it seems like a pretty easy install. The only problem is the ball joints up front, so it might have a little bit of an issue there. And also, these do not come with top hats, so either you have to buy a new top hats or keep the stock ones. Which is what we're doing. Yeah, we're, we're keeping the stock. the stock top hats. So make sure you rent spring compressors, or you can just full send it without spring compressors. I do not recommend that. But we're going to be taking a safe route and using spring compressors. First things first, we're just going to get the car up on all fours. I believe it's um, a 21 mil yeah. socket, a uh, 21 mil head. So I just want to jack up the car on all fours, get it up in the air, and just get going on it. Let's go boys. See you in the next clip. Before we get into this, I'm just going to spray down with some WD-40 the bolts that we have to take off. Just okay. a quick sound. A little squirt, squirt. A little right. squirting action. You, you're trying to point them to me. <laughs> Let's just point them through quick. <laughs> exactly. Ryan said the word squirt. <laughs> Alright. For the coilover install, really the only ones we're going to have to take off is this nut right below my finger. Um, and then the bolt that attaches to that nut, which should be like right here. I hope you can see it. it's kind of dark. And then we're going to take off this here for the brake line. And then we have to disassemble this bolt joint here. And then we have a, a cotter pin right here. Along with another nut right here. And then we have to work from under the hood and get rid of the top hat as well. But this here is our concern, the bolt joint. Because the last time we worked with one, it wasn't the smoothest process. So after the bolts have been squirted with the WD-40, we let them sit for like 10-15 minutes. And now we're ready to hopefully pull these right off. We're going to have a 17 millimeter ratcheting wrench on this side. And we're going to be using an air gun on the other side just because... Hot boy flex. Hot boy flex, alright. Uh, and you better for not throwing the ratcheting in there. I can't see if your hand's there. Yeah, I got it. Let's see what we got here. Might be on the lowest torque. Nah, no, I would hope. And just like that, hot boy flex. Oh, uh, drop my drop nut. The nut. Let's go, come on, on camera. First try. Oh. Look at that. Woo. This clip was a minute and 12 seconds. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Ryan, good, good for you. you. You're keeping your bolts clean for an O2. That's a pretty clean setup. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh. Alright, but that was the easy Air part. Gun. Air gun. Air gun. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this brake line bracket right here. And then the hard part, taking off the bowl joint right here. And I got to like bleep out all of that. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know you were recording. Yeah, it was pretty Yo, follow the gram right here. Alright, so now with the bottom assembled, Bro, we're trying to take a video, dog. Come on, Dad. What am I doing? Can you imagine pulling my car? The town would, <laughs> the town would buy me a M3. <laughs> I ain't even playing. <laughs> so now with the bottom assembled, we are going to disassembled, my guy. That's the third time. Yeah, well, I said disassembled <laughs> the first two times. Now he said he second guesses all my yeah, measurements. Unsub. <laughs> what? Ryan's. Yo, unsub. Chris abuses me. <laughs> Now at the bottom, assembled already, we have these three 12 mil nuts up top. I'm gonna take them off to free the top hat. There's supposed to be a 10 mil here, but we don't have that. Weight reduction. Weight reduction reasons, Ryan's words. So we're just gonna take off these three 12s. Yo, yo, this kid just got here and he's taking a union break already. Yeah, what are you eating over there? Hold on, hold on, we got a little... Food break. You want to get some like yam, huh? Got a little sausage, egg, and cheese. All right, all right. Salt, pepper. Hey, you want to get the last nut over here? Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Yo, hold the uh, the uh, straw. It might drop. The three nut. The three twelves oh. are out. Oh, excuse me. There's another one. What the hell? Yo, I told you there was two on that. Well, so guess I, what? It's not I, I think you owe an apology. Apology. It's still a twelve. 
Yo, she's loose, but I can't bench 315, so I might need some help. Oh, 315? Yeah. Damn, Ryan's first live 315 video. Uh-oh. Live his first 315. Yo, but it's been about three months since we hit the gym. Yeah, I'm probably at like a 205 right now. Yeah. I think we're definitely gonna... Yeah. Right? Well, if I, well, no, there's a possibility. No, if I push it down... Nah, yeah, I think we're away. I think we're taking that out. I don't know. The, the bolt in front, right? Oh, yeah. The bolt has gotta come out, boys. Yeah, it's gotta come. All right, yeah. we tried. Yep. We tried skipping a step, and it's not gonna work. So the bolt joint has to come out. Go. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. So now I'm just gonna take out the cotter pin, and then probably get this nut out, and then we're gonna work on that bolt joint. Unfortunately. Is like a storm crack. Strike one. Feel the vibes, bro. My control arm's cracked. <laughs> All right. A little duct tape, and it's good as new. Right. Some JV Weld. You want to spray some WD-40 on that, John? Yeah, definitely. No, that? serious talk. Nah, I should have to bend it up a little more. I wouldn't spray it. I want to get slippery in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, there we go. Sli like slippery stair? Like slippery stairs. Uh. 25 Shrekos. 25. <laughs> Santa! No, oh, that's not Santa. It's the mailman. You Santa the UPS man? Yeah, that's Santa. Update! Oh, so the compressor off. The cotter pin nah. has left the chat. <laughs> Alright, so we, we got it out, but um, we got it out in like five pieces. Yo, Connor pins his toast as Harambe. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Alright, so now we can get that nut going. Alright, so. And just as the compressor turns off, good day. No more cotter pin. Now it's time to get this bolt joint piece out of here. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. I have a crowbar here. I might, I'm going to try to pry it like this. I have a hammer. I might try just hitting this up. But I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm gonna do it off camera. But for the most part, this piece here and the hub comes down, and then this piece here is gonna come up, and then this uh, threaded piece here is gonna come up and out too. So this is gonna separate from here to here. So right now, while they're working on the bowl joint, trying to separate that, me and Brendan are in the back right now, gonna take out the rear strut. So the bolt right here, it's a 19 millimeter, so we have 19 millimeter wrench over there, and we're gonna, just gonna send this right off with the air gun. Now with the back bolt out from the strut, we're gonna jump up to the front and take the bolt out that connects it to the rotor. And now once this is disconnected, once this bolt is disconnected from here, we're gonna be able to pull this down enough to hopefully get the, the stock strut out from the car. And also, you have a 12 millimeter bolt there, and there's another one there. And then you have to go up into the trunk, which we'll show you that afterwards. Now with all these bolts out, we're going to hop up to the trunk. Trunk's open. We're here. There's supposed to be a clip here. There's supposed to be a clip back there. And then you have another one here. And there's one more and right here. So there's four clips. We already have them taken out. So this should just be able to come peel back. And also this bolt here, and that bolt there. They look like they're both 10 millimeters. Now with all the trunk liner pulled out of the way, you can see the top of the strut right there. And the nuts holding in the strut are all 14 millimeters. So these all should just come right out. Now once the nuts on the top are all taken out, the strut should be pretty freely moving down here. But the problem is, is that it's still sitting in here. So what we're gonna do, this bolt here, we just ran it back through, and now we're gonna use that as a leverage point with the the crowbar. And we, we should be able just to just pull this down. If I can there figure out how to figure out how to do this. So what's going on over here? We just rented advanced auto parts, got different spring compressors, and what we're doing here is okay. we're setting up to take off the, uh, the stock spring. It, it's an 18. You don't remember from your video? No. How am I supposed to remember this kind of stuff? Some numbers stick in no, my I'm, head. Honestly, I'm thinking about something. 
Whoa. You should. Chris is 0 for 2 today, Ryan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chris behind the camera is not a good guy. Yeah, let's have underwear you want to do. You got, what, do you have the SpongeBob? Yeah, fish, so, fish ones? Yep, yeah, good. Now that the spring compressor is on, on the uh, top hat up here, you're going to have to have an Allen key and then an open, uh, and then a ratcheting wrench or anything like that because without the Allen key on here, the bolt is just, is just going to spin. Ah, that hurt my hand. Oh, there we go. That's the greatest tool on earth right there. Ratcheting box hope, wrench. Let's just hope that the spring compressor is tight enough. Or else Brendan's probably going to get a broken nose <laughs> <laughs> as he backs away. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got that on video. Oh, you, didn't, you stopped no, it? No, I wish I got Pei's reaction. <laughs> now do we need this? Yeah, because isn't this the boot? Yeah, that stays there. Those that goes the, with that. Oh, oh yeah, man. No, you shouldn't need the sprinkle press because these are small. Yeah, sprinkles. these are mad small. Yeah, Yo, you think that, yo, you feel that boot, go, that, that, shit, that boot goes there, though? Yeah. Yeah, because that wouldn't go anywhere else. Yeah. No, yo, isn't it right there? Yeah, oh, right there. no, right there, in front oh, of you. There's newer ones, though. Oh, oh, oh came with new ones? Yeah, baby. Whoa! New ones. New nuts. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense, right? And you don't need a. F and guess what? You don't need a f Allen key for this one. Yo, watch the math. We're on camera. Yo, I gotta, I gotta bleed out all this stuff. It's, <laughs> yeah, gonna, take, yeah. it's gonna take me like 15 minutes. Extra. This kid's using all the seven sailor words. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do a dance. <laughs> That's it. Your coil shot. From the last clip, we performed some magic. We magically changed the rotor, and we got new brake pads on there. Now this is in, we're gonna continue putting in the strut. You have the, the keys for it, right? Yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, yo, he did that right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but keys for what? Yeah, yeah, it's in the glove box. Oh, yeah. Okay. Should I fall? No, no. no. <laughs> Can we throw this in? I don't know how to zoom in, but so now let's get in there. The strut is kind of just sitting in there, but in order to get the bolt through the holes, we're gonna raise the lower control arm with the jack. We're gonna try and line this John up. That's it. There you go. Yes, yeah. sir. Look at that. Right up, no problem. Just like that. Don't want to make it too tight. Now I'm gonna hop up so to the top said, over here. No KY jelly Let's was there. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, you got it? Let's go! Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah! Let's right, go! Yo, camera, guess what? I'm gonna explain my pro tip to you real quick. This is like complete. Oh, two, hold on, hold on. This is like two Check separate clips. Ooh, she's everyone, wild everyone get quiet. All right, so what is this? A one inch? Damn, this is a big John. I right, use a one inch open ended. Hold so on. And is this a pro tip? It was. Yo, it was hella pro tip. Yo, this might be my best pro tip. In our two years of AC Auto work. Woo! Anniversary today, Actually, by the way. Record fact. on the anniversary. Exactly. I just, uh, I can't really show you now, guys, but I just took the one inch, put it up in there, held it, and just knocked it down like that. All right, back <laughs> back to this. That was the biggest pro tip in AC Auto okay. existence. This footage is probably going to be really shitty. I'm sorry. All right, so back to over here. It's all right. The, it's the camera like has self stabilization. It's going to be like one of those Wack World Star now, videos. I just, oh, no, not you, the monster. Yo, the gr degreaser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, Ryan, come here. So, back in the trunk, we're just putting on the nuts, keeping them loose, but tight enough so the strut won't fall out. So when we're point. trying to put the uh, the bottom back into the lower control arm. Yo, wait, wait. Isn't it gonna affect how many grams we have on there? Yes, sir. I'm hyped. Don't judge the spring compressors. We were just trying to work with something, but it didn't work. Yeah, we're not gonna Yo, talk about check that. Check this out. So now we got the bolt going through the strut to the going through the lower control arm to the strut. Thank you. So now that's in. Now we gotta put the rotor into the lower, and then this side should be pretty much done. All we have to do is just go back to the top brackets there, up top, and then we gotta go into the trunk again and tighten those up, make sure those are all good good to go. And then the back is done. And yes, at the moment we do have it maxed out. Yeah, let me see if I can get it on that. Right now we have it for maxed out low to see how low it's gonna get. It'll tuck nice, but right now we're all the way low. Right. So here we got Ryan, he's making his AC Auto debut. Nice, going on. 
All right, guys, try to keep it quiet over there. Go for it, Ryan. All right, so we just finished taking out the front, the driver's side strut. Um, we just took off the um, spring compressors, and now this is going to be seated into the spring. So what I did, well, once I took the spring off, my bad. Once I took the spring off, I honestly just shoved my arm in here, and then boom, pushed out the. You're able to get this out, and then you want to reuse a top hat on the new coil. We're using the top hat because I cheaped out of my coil over. It's all right. So we got the new coil over here. So you don't want to make sure it's the spring seated. Now this is gonna poke through. And then, so you're gonna shove this down into the spring. There you go. But as you see, the uh, the seal didn't seat properly, so we're gonna take it out and just try to Get finagle it in there. Using my words now, I like it. Yeah, yo, pro tip. Man, nice. All right, now push that John in. Push that John in. Let us okay. know tomorrow. No, uh -oh. Now the hardware. Say, yeah, so we have the hardware TN gave us. You could reuse teen? Teen. No, it's teen. Sorry, man. It's all right, don't no, worry. No, quiet on the set. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Quiet so, on the set. You can... <laughs> I'm trying to film over here. So you could reuse the um, OEM hardware, but teen, teen gave us some hardware, so we're going to use that. All right, so we've got the uh, big washer here first followed by the smaller washer and the nut. All right, now this should be a 17 nut, and now we're just gonna tighten that back down and then probably throw this back in the car. Yeah, as we tighten, I thought that was an Allen key. No, there's no Allen key on as, the aftermarket yeah. ones. As we tighten that, I'm pretty much gonna compress the spring a little bit, I think. Yep. And we should have no problem finishing into the car because the aftermarket coilover is a lot shorter than the stock one. Yeah. So we're just gonna throw these back in by the, under the engine, I mean under the hood, and hopefully just mount this all back up. All right guys, a little update. We kind of put the camera down because we were kind of just grinding the rear. The rear is finished, and along with the rear rotors and the brakes, we didn't show those just because the title of this video is gonna be IS300 gets slammed or slamming the IS300, something like that. So the brakes and rotors weren't really a, a part of the video, it was just like a little bonus clip. So the fr the back's already done, and now we're going over here. Oh yeah, what are we doing over here? Brushing my teeth. Brushing your teeth. <laughs> All right. I showed you in the last clip. Me and Ryan, we put it up into place. We tighten the bottom, the bottom nut and bolt right here right here and then we went through we put back the brake line we put back together the ball joint up here to the 17 back in and then we threw all these 12s up top back in on the tower put all done at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh yeah this kid's not even eating I didn't eat yet damn I said did. they oh yeah oh, oh yeah oh. Oh. you know what full piece first drive you know what, everyone knows the rules, one bite. Quite some time later, we got a, we got Zach here, finally. Everything is all put back on. Rotors, pads. Rotors, new brake pads, and the struts. And at the moment, they're all maxed out. They're fully maxed out, so this is going to be the lowest it's going to go. And I got a feeling, I got a feeling that we might have to raise it back up, but we kind of want to leave it maxed out just because like it's either full send or no send. But um, yeah, we're going to give this a go. Let's go. You got to raise Bro. What do you mean you gotta race? Yo, the front slams compared to the rear. <laughs> yeah, why is that? You yo, it's sick. Yo. Dude, that looks so good. You have yo. camber oh, too? You have plenty of room too. Look at that camber like... too. Why do you get so much camber from just regular, just the plain struts? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, he has Yo, it looks awesome. Yo, yo. We can't raise it. We can't, man. Yo, but now I'm saying, like, you have to. No. Nah. Uh, unless you put a wider wheel. Wait, you know, Yo, 
Yeah, for sure. You just have to angle it a, a little bit. If I had a lip, bro, I'd be straight scraping. Oh, yeah. That'd be gnarly. If you had a, if you had a lip. You should get a freaking lip. He had one, but he's going to get a new bumper. Yo, I can't fit any fingers in here. Like, like that's like. But you got clearance, though. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I don't, nah, I don't think we're going to be able to turn the wheel. Yo, may, maybe we might got to raise the fronts, but the rears, we're not touching. All right, guys, it's now the following day from that last clip you guys just saw. And the reason why we're picking up the camera the next day is because we ran into some problems with the brake pads and the rotors. And that wasn't really a part of the video, so we didn't really want to include it. And the time we fixed the brake pad issue and the rotors, it got dark outside. And I didn't want to pick up the camera if you guys couldn't see anything. But pretty much what we did since that last clip with the coilovers where we raised the fronts, which we talked about raising the fronts and keeping the rears. Because the fronts, I don't know if you're able to see, like my finger was like not even able to fit in the front. The fitment was nice, but once we tried turning the wheel, he couldn't turn the wheel fully without hitting his fender. So what we did was we raised the front 10 threads. So now the car is a little bit higher in the front. I'm able to fit like two fingers in the front and now he is able to turn his wheel all the way and it's nice and it's not as low but it's about two fingers but it's now it's drivable let's say that should be it for this video guys if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below if not make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one peace